Hello! Today, we're gonna try to build a moving house in The Sims 4. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, my birthday is coming up, or when you're watching this, my birthday has already been, because my birthday is 10th of August. But anyways, it was, or it is, or it's gonna be my birthday. And I thought that I would do a little special build for that occasion, and I thought the moving house. Now, do I have anything to do with the moving house? No. Am I even from Finland? No, I'm not. But the moomins were my entire childhood, okay? They were. That was my jam. I loved it. Wow. So that's what we're gonna do today. And also, side note, since this is my birthday special video, it is gonna be a little bit longer than it usually is. If that's not your jam, well, too bad. Because uh, <laughs> I have made this video, so nothing I can do about that. So let's just start this thing. So, <laughs> I would very much like to begin this video with a little presentation. Don't worry, it's not gonna be long, it's not gonna be boring. Or maybe it will be boring, I don't know. But Nora actually did some research before she began with this video. That doesn't happen often, but uh, when she does it, I mean, this is what happens. Do not mark my drawing. I did my best. But what I found out from my research is that the house has three floors, an attic, and a cellar. So, <laughs> on the first floor, we have a freakity frackity living room, a kitchen, a dining room, and the storage that has never been seen before. So, very helpful. And then on the second floor, we have the Mumi Papa and Mumi Mama's bedroom. And side note, throughout this video, I'm going to be saying Mumi and not Mumin, because Mumi is how you say it in Norwegian, at least. I'm not sure how you say it in Finnish, I gotta be honest, but I cannot for the life of me say Mumin. It's just not working for my brain. So, I'm going to say Mumi. That's just how it's going to be. So, anyways, on the second floor, we have the Mumi Mama and Mumi Papa's bedroom. We also have a hallway, a guest room one, a guest room two, and then a room that's never been seen before. So that's amazing. And then on the third floor, we have a guest room one, a guest room two, and then we have the Mumi Papa's office, a hallway, and again, a room that's never been seen before. And then in the attic, we have a Mumin's bedroom, which in Norwegian I think is Mumi Trolla. Yeah, Mumi Trolla's bedroom is in there. So let's get to building, shall we? Oh, we shall. First of freaking all, we have to start off with some rounded rooms. And if you didn't know, I do not like the rounded rooms. <laughs> because, you know, the rounded rooms, they are really buggy. I mean, I I don't even want to talk about it. They're so buggy. But anyways, also, let's try out with the large rounded rooms and see how that goes. Oh, that is big, isn't it? How is that going to look when you tear it up? Oh, yeah, that's not going to look good. And I did it wrong. Anyways, oh, that's the extra large room. Okay, well, let's try with the large room. I mean, that looks a lot better better, doesn't it? I do feel so. Let's just put all of these on top of each other and see how it looks. Okay, not like that though. My gosh, Nora. Get your head in the game! It still doesn't look like the moving house. I mean, the moving house is a lot smaller and taller, but if we make it smaller, it's not gonna look good from the inside, okay? That it is not. <laughs> see, if we get a staircase in here, I mean, that's gonna take up the whole gosh darn house, you know? Okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna make a little round top. What I mean by a little round top, I mean a, a hill. <laughs> That's what it is. A little hill because the Moomins live on a little hill. Oh, what am I doing? I can niche do two things at once. Nora, please focus. Your life depends on it. Well, right, okay. I'm gonna continue working on this uh, little terraforming and I will see you when I'm done with it. Because, oh, yikes, yikes. I am terrible at this. See you in a bit. And I am back. I did the little terraforming. Look at this little round hill. It could be a lot smoother, but uh, I don't I don't care anymore. But anyways, also, uh, let's uh, start with the exterior of the house because uh, that's important for the Moomin house. And also every other single house in the entire existence but you know oh my gosh shout out to another am didn't think i would see you here but anywho <laughs> okay so let's see it has some blue wood wallpaper and has some red orange roofing and oh my gosh i used to have this exact old house when i was a kid no i didn't have that one i had I had this one so many memories oh my gosh i wonder if i still have that on the loft somewhere maybe i do but if you think for a second that i'm gonna go into the loft and get that you're absolutely insane because there's a bat living in our loft and I don't want to mess with him, okay? That's his laugh now, right? So I hope the bat enjoys my Moomin dollhouse. Right, so what was I doing again? Oh, I was going to make the Moomin house. Right, okay, so let's start with the roof. Oh, I needed to go a little bit more up though, but this is the limit. I can each go higher than this. Oh, yikes, this is bad. You know what? It doesn't really look like the roof on the picture, but um, that's not my fault <laughs> because it can't go higher up. But maybe, but just maybe, it will look good if we put some paint on that. And by paint, I mean roof 
smooth tiles. I like that. That has that movement vibe. And oh my gosh, can the camera stop now for the wallpaper? Okay, we have this, but um, that's not that's not the vibe. What about this one? I mean, that could work. Mm, I want it to be like a little bit more bam, saturated, more colorful, more bold, more passion. What about this? That kind of looks like flooring. Yeah, it has that flooring pattern, doesn't it? <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna go with that. It's the closest we have. And now it's time for the windows. So what type of windows do we want to go for? Oh, that's right. We need to go with the windows that goes on a curved wall. So our uh, choices are very limited. They are. I mean, we could go with windows that doesn't go on a curved wall, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna look like that, you know? Um, by the way, before I begin with the windows, you might want to take a little look at the roof because, um, what is this? What? <laughs> that is not my fault either. That is just how rounded rooms work. So we also need to just ignore that. We have to. To survive this day, we just have to. But back to the windows again. Oh, okay, that's a good window. I mean, it has some tallness to it. Yeah, okay. We, we, ah, oh. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna place the windows, but I think somewhere. I mean, it would be weird if it wasn't somewhere, you know? All right, I have put in all the windows, as you can see. And then I had a little thinkity thought that it would be good to do the layout of the house before I start with anything else. Because I still do not know if this house actually works. <laughs> now we have to remember, it is a cartoon. It is animated. So, you know, the physics doesn't really match up with uh, real life. So it looks bigger on the inside than it actually is on the outside. And, uh, you know, so uh, I have to take some creative liberties here and there just to make it work. Thank you. But all right, so the living room is in the front like that and then there's just a part that nobody has seen but i think i have to make this living room the whole front part because i think otherwise it's gonna be too tiny you know that i do believe so what if i just try to make the living room here oh yeah i can't put a wall there that's uh wonderful where can i put a wall then here yeah well then the wall is gonna be here that's the living room and then we need another wall here maybe so that's the dining room then that can be the kitchen i mean that's a good size i do believe oh no we need stairs oh shoot Maybe it can be on the side of the house like that. Oh no, I can't have it against the wall. So it has to be there. Well, that looks ridiculous. Well, what if I am? Um... <laughs> what if I go like that? Oh, and I can't have a wall there. I can have a wall here. Can I have a wall here? Oh no, I can't. Then it's gonna be like this. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I can't seem to find a good layout picture of the second or third floor. So I just have to make that up myself, I guess. I mean, I guess the only place where we can really put walls is here, right on the middle tile. So, um, yeah, I think that can be a bedroom. And then that can be another room. Genius. And then maybe I can squeeze in a room here. And I cannot put a wall there, right? But where can I put the walls? I can put them here. That's gonna block off the whole window, but I, I, I have no other choice. And then maybe I can have a wall here. Oh, and I can't have a wall there. Why? What does it say? Invalid rounded piece intersection. What? Can I put a wall here? Yes, I can. Can I move the wall? Yes, I can. Okay, problem fixed. Right. Third floor. Okay, so what if we take a staircase? And, um, oh, uh, where am I gonna put that? Here? Oh, by the way, I put up a room in the attic. Oh, that's gonna take up the whole gosh darn room. Well, that's not good. Oh my gosh, I gave up. You know what? Maybe I'll put in the ladder on the last one. You know, you're going up to the attic. You're not going into Matt Gala or something. You're going up the attic. You can have a ladder. Right, boom. And then we can have a room here. Then we can have a shenanigan room here. Yeah, I mean, that can work. And there I go. There I go. Now all the walls are up. I mean, they're pretty ugly, but, um, the walls are up. And now we're gonna move on to putting in the test furniture. And test furniture is just to see if I have space for everything. We're not gonna care about style or anything of that sort. We're just gonna care about placement. All right, so the living room, it has a fireplace, a couch under the window, table in the middle of the room, and it also has a grandfather's clock and a cabinet in the corner. Okay, so that all fits, so that's good. Wow, 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 wow. right. So now for the dining room, it has a large table, a tree couch. Do they mean a wooden couch or is tree couch something else? I don't know. A large stove and a blue cabinet. Magnificent. That all seem to fit? Yeah, that fits. Yeah, now for the kitchen. What was in the kitchen? There's a stove, a counter, a dishwashing corner, and a table in the middle it also has a butter maker slash barrel in the corner i don't think we're gonna get a table in the middle of the room because um what is the middle of the room you know <laughs> maybe i can just have the table here and then i just scooch it into the wall a little bit i mean yeah your sim can get through that yeah that um seems to work for me right now on to the second floor primary bedroom it has separate beds oh all right and then a vanity cabinet two nightstands in the bookshelf okay oh my gosh but i'm gonna have the beds here wait what if i have the beds here no that's gonna look ridiculous i'm gonna have it here then 
we need a nightstand. Oh, they had two nightstands. I do. No, that's where I'm gonna take my creative liberties. I'm not gonna squeeze two nightstands in here. That's not gonna work. So it's just gonna be like that. Um, bum, 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 bum. And that seems to work. All right, all right, all right, all right. And then for the first guest bedroom, they got a green tree bank. Wait, a green tree bank? Do they mean a bunk bed? I mean, I do think so. I hope so, at least. <laughs> Anyways, they also have a blue cradle, a round table with one chair on top of a round mat and a bookshelf and a fireplace. I mean, yeah. I think that can work if we use our imagination that can work. All right. And then the second guest bedroom, it has a single bed, a nightstand, a wall cabinet, and a dresser, a chair. Oh, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. We have two small rooms and I don't know which one is worse, to be honest with you. Maybe I can go for this one. Maybe. All right. If I squeeze in the bed here and then add the door here. Oh, maybe I can squeeze this dresser in there. Oh my gosh. Can I squeeze that in? If I size it down, I can squeeze it in. <laughs> It just, it, it, it just has to work, okay? It, it really has to. Okay, so for the hallway, it doesn't say anything about the hallway, but um, I'm gonna give them a little table. And then on the third floor, we have the first guest bedroom where Prima Donna and her horse sleeps, right? Good for them. It has a single bed in the center of the room. Oh. And the bed is on top of a blue carpet, right? And it also has a vanity cabinet, a wall cabinet, and a dresser. Beautiful. And then in the second guest bedroom, it has a bed on a blue mat, a fireplace, and a chair. Magnificent. Okay, that, that fits. That's nice. So now for the office, there is a desk with a chair and a sofa, bookshelves, a fireplace, and a hat rack by the door. That seems to work fine for me. And now in this hallway, what am I gonna do here? I can maybe have a little table there. And then maybe you can have a little sitting corner in here with a little table and a chair. Bobbidi bobbidi boom. You know, having a fun time over there. And then the attic. Me little attic. It has a bed, a little table over there and a desk. What a beautiful room. So proud of that. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go back to the exterior of the house. And if we take a little look at a reference photo, we need to get a chimney that kind of looks like that. And a little spare and a dormer. A little dormer? Okay, let's get this spare first. Let's put it on the roof. Yeah, that can work. And then for the chimney. What chimney can we get for them today? I think this one matches the best. It doesn't really match at all, but uh, here we are. <laughs> Gotta put it on there. Okay, let's put up a dormer. Do I have to make the dormer myself? Can I make that myself though? What if I put up a little half wall and then I do the roof trick where I put the roof on a little box like that and then I raise it up and I scooch it over. Scooch, me friend. Scooch. Oh, I can't. Why not? Because of the room. Enclosed room. What? That is obscene. Never have I ever gotten that message before. Let me try again. Scooch it. No. Ah! Alright, I have tried everything now. Literally everything. And it just, it doesn't want to work. And I, no, not, no. That's not happening. Can we find a dormer that matches? I mean, I think it's going to be difficult to find a dormer that has blue wallpaper and a red orange roof. But uh, maybe we can find that somehow. <laughs> okay, what about this? Now, it doesn't have blue walls, but it has a red orange roof. Why am I saying red all the time? It's clearly orange. I have problems. But I do believe that that dormer, it could work. It could work. I mean, if you see that dormer from afar, it does look a little blue. If you squint your eyes, squint your eyes, people. It looks blue, the wallpaper, you know? Okay, so I put up my little platform with this desk and now we'll need a little roof and the roof has to be like that a little triangular roof i see how it is so i think i'm gonna do my little roof trick again i go like so and then i put new roof on there is that the height that i want it to be in i think that could work all right so there's my first little veranda now we need one on the side as well and that means that we need a door right here so will that work on the inside i mean yeah it kind of works on the inside maybe i can squeeze it a little to the side oh i can't because of the <laughs> rounded walls right well it's gonna be like that. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put up my little platform on there as well. And I put up some stairs and some columns on the roof. Beautiful. Right, so the back to the reference pictures. If we take a look at this picture, there's a little ladder that goes from Moomin's bedroom down onto that roof. So I need to make a ladder. And how am I gonna do that? I do wonder. I think the best thing to do is to put in the ladder from debug. That seems reasonable. So I'm just gonna take this ladder and I am gonna raise it up to high heavens. Then I'm gonna rotate it. Then I elevate a little bit more. Oh, then I had to rotate it again. Well, I'm gonna be working on this for a while, so, um, that's gonna be fun for me. <laughs> really, really fun for me. <laughs> Alright, I have put up my ladders. Pretty happy with that. I mean, it is a little stiff in the corners, but what am I gonna do about that? 
you know, here it is. <laughs> All right, so back to the reference photos. On the other side of the house, it has these little whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's the entrance to the cellar, so I had to make that. Okay, so maybe I can try to put up some little half walls. No, I cannot because of the raised foundation. Well, what if I just put up a foundation then? And then I just put a roof on there. I think that can work, you know? And then we have a little door. <laughs> Why do I kind of like that? Now we need to put in some columns. And um, I don't think the normal columns are going to work. No, they're not. I gotta use deeper columns. And then I just plop them on there. Making some magic happen. Here's my little cellar entrance. It's looking really cute, actually. It is. Then we have the back of the house, which also has a door. And has a well, a little washing... <laughs> and then it has a little woodshed thing. Ooh, I have to make that, don't I? <gasps> now, I think the door should actually be into the kitchen, but that's not gonna work for us. And oh, that's right. You see that little gap there? Yeah, I just have to hide that up with some bushes and some trees. <laughs> Whatever. I think I'm gonna put up a little well first. And I think maybe this one. It doesn't look exactly like the one on the picture, but uh, it's close enough for me, you know. And then we need a little washing yeah, <laughs> station. <laughs> Wash tub. Okay, I was close. But that's looking nice and dandy. Okay, now we gotta put up that little... Uh, Woodshed. Oh my. Oh, I'm nervous. How, what am I gonna do about that? Okay, what if I take this roof right there and then I just layer them on top of each other or not on top of each other but next to each other with tool mod just sort of like that. And then we need to make some walls and what is that gonna be? Oh no. I could do that but that's too modern. Oh, ooh, what if I use this? I size them up a little bit. Can I, can I make that happen for us? I mean, it does look a little bit shabby <laughs> but it is shabby on the picture too so uh, hmm. now we need some wood in there. What can I do about that? Maybe I can use some couches would that be an idea or a very stupid idea it kind of looks like a little log it does maybe i just have to do that oh that's gonna be a nightmare though but oh okay all right <laughs> i have put up some of the logs the logs and i'm still not done as you can see but that took such a long time and i'm not even done but it's just it's taking all day and i'm tired of it <laughs> so i think to not use all my energy on just woodshed you know i am gonna do that in the end okay i'm gonna come back to it. i'm gonna do that in the end but right now i'm getting angry at that little shed and you know what one thing that i did forget to was to put in a basement so if i go like so um yeah i um <laughs> oh no yeah i tried to put in the basement and the floor is glitching <laughs> oh jeebly i try this again what if i copy this entire room then i take it down here oh yeah no it's glitching again it's it's glitching again <laughs> oh okay you know what i don't think we're gonna have a cellar in this uh, house today okay we're just not you know why did i put in the floor here. I think I just put in the floor out of sheer panic. <laughs> okay, let's start furnishing the house for real this time, okay? So, I have made a little mood board on Pinterest for the living room. I mean, it's beautiful. So, let's see. The table that's in the middle of the room, it has a pink tablecloth and some brown chairs. And then the carpet is green. I mean, that's, I mean, that's nice. Okay, so this might do. And then some nice wooden chairs. Then the carpet. Oh, yikes. Okay, I've looked through all the freaking carpets and I think this one is the best one. So, that it is and then on the table there was a little um handle bra i said that word perfectly you know, i mean and then we also need a chandelier maybe just this one okay you know what i'm gonna put up all the ceiling lights in the end because i hate building with the ceiling lights because i can't see freaking anything so i'm gonna do that in the end i promise i'm gonna remember to put them in okay i promise i'm gonna remember that any hoozles what more do we have <laughs> okay so we have the little table there by the stairs with a little flower on it right hmm okay i kind of feel like that's gonna look weird because we have such a huge space because on the picture it's like that but we need to have our door there because of the kitchen so maybe but just maybe i can put up one of these tables instead is that allowed i feel like that's allowed you know what actually before i begin with that i'm gonna change up the door to something magical maybe this and i can put up a door in here as well just so i don't forget <laughs> but right i can put up a little table there maybe this one maybe that would be good for us and then i can put up me flower and some decorations on that maybe just like so with some little books picture frame and a little pig why i don't know but there it is <laughs> okay, now we gotta change up the couch. It looks like there is a brown wooden couch. So we shan't do the same. Yeah, no. I mean, that could be nice. Maybe throw a pillow on there. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so the fireplace. It has that little long chimney on the top. <laughs> I should not be describing anything because I'm so bad at it. But it has a long thing on the top. And it also has two plates and a little vase. Okay, so we can have this brick wallpaper. And then we can frame it in with some columns like so. And they're disappearing. And they're also sticking through the wall, which they normally do not. All right. And then you know I'm gonna put the plates and the vase on that. Bang. And that's what she did. She put the vase and the plates on there. Beautiful. Mwah. Okay, what else do we need now? I think we just need a lot of pictures on the walls. And stoof. I do believe that. Okay, Doki, I just put up some ran 
random random pictures i'm not happy with it but uh, my brain can't function right now Ugh. i also put up a little purse yes and um, Mama, she needs her purse okay now for the curtains and oh this is gonna be a nightmare i can already feel it okay welcome back i have looked through every freaky freaky curtain there is and none of them work none of them but i think the best choice we have is this curtain i know it doesn't look good but at least we have curtains and i am gonna go eat some lunch because that ah no i'm gonna eat lunch right i am back from lunch it was very good <laughs> i question myself sometimes but uh, let's uh let's start working on the dining room which looks like this wonderful <laughs> guess we have the table which has an orange tablecloth on it i don't I don't know if you have that. Anyways, it has a blue cabinet in the back with a picture frame and the curtains. Some orange curtains. Oh, yikes, yikes. Now, do we have a tablecloth table? I mean, we have this, but that's not a dining table, is it? What about, what about, oh, we have this, but that. I mean, that's an outside table. I'm not going to do that. I have my limits too. Okay, so what about just this table? That instead of an orange tablecloth, we can put in these and make them orange. Ta-ta. How about that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I'm just going to look past that and I'm going to put in the couch and one of them cabinets in blue all right we need a carpet for this table and we need a quick and what can that be Ooh, okay what about this i mean that uh you know what okay i'm gonna say that's okay now i'm gonna put some little decorations on that table yes for fancies and because i have to all righty now i need some decorations on top of the fireplace so what is that what do they have all right so they have some plates and little uh, teapot and some ceramic stuff i am actually scared of ceramics that's a weird thing to say but i will talk about that another time and there we have the little decorations on the fireplace that's some nice little stuff and oh i was not gonna put up a building that uh, no <laughs> now i just need to put some little paintings and stuff on the walls to just tie it all together you know tie it all together and there we have the little living room wow okay let's move on to the kitchen <laughs> oh yeah it's the kitchen i don't even <sighs> this kitchen is a mess look at it this is not gonna look like the picture at all i'm just telling you now it's not okay so here's a little concept sketch of this kitchen we have a big old stove and lots and lots of shelves i see and there's also this in the corner. What is that? I don't know. A shelving unit thingy thing. There's a bucket. Oh, I love me some buckets. I do love me some buckets. So I think actually I'm gonna make a double stove. Double soup. And maybe we can use these from Horse Ranch just for the ambiance. And we can use this sink. And I love this combo because none of the swatches in these counters match the sink. And I just love that for me. Maybe just go for that. See, it's... Uh, uh, don't think about it. No, I just have it there. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm not thinking about it. I promise you, I'm not thinking about it. Oh, maybe I should put in the, the rest of the wallpaper that I have put up in the corner. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my gosh. And maybe, or just maybe, I can have some brick behind the stove. Maybe that could be fun for us. I mean, yeah, that looks a lot funkier. All right, so they had this um thingy tang in the corner. So I'm gonna put that up too, because I also want a thingy tang in the corner. That I do. And now I'm gonna put this one up for me. And then we do need a stove hood i mean the one on the picture is um very built in and stuff so i gotta go off script here yeah. maybe i can size it up a little bit and then just squeeze it into the wall something like that shebang maybe that could work maybe it could oh my gosh what am i gonna do in this corner i have no idea and i'm so scared to start working on that so i'm just not gonna start working on that yet i'm gonna go in this little corner <laughs> And I am going to decorate it with some food stuff. Because that's what they had. And by they, I mean the moomins. That I do. <laughs> but look. It's so cute. And some jams. I feel like the moomins would love some jams, you know. And then we need a little shelf above here. That would be nice. And then we can put some uh, pots and pans on that. Me pots and pans are up. Ooh. And now I'm going to decorate something else. And what should that be? Oh, actually, they do have some decorations on top of their stove hood. So I'm going to do the same. Because why wouldn't I, you know? Why wouldn't I? All right. We got some urns. Why not? Just some kitchen gear. Cute. What, what, what can I do now that's uh, not this situation? Maybe I can put something. Maybe I can put some more decorations up. I, I can put up so many decorations. You just watch me. I'm going to put them all up in this kitchen. Oh, okay. Now I think I got to start on this. Uh, hmm. What am I going to do? Maybe I can put up some more decorations first. I mean, we can have a little towel right there. And then maybe a little bar of soap, you know. And what about a little candle light just right there? And... Uh, um and we can have this little washing station right there. And of course, you need a freaking broom. You need that. And ooh, 
we of course need a little trash can. This wouldn't be a kitchen without the trash can. All right, now onto this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I can't use walls at all because if I put up a wall here, it's going to go out. If I put up a wall here, it's going to go out. Think, Nora. Think. Okay, what about some curtains? What if I just maneuver these curtains around with the wall? I mean, okay, that kind of works. Not perfectly, but what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> that was the kitchen for now. Maybe I will put up some more decorations, but I'm not sure. I mean, the medium wall height makes it look so weird, you know, because there's so much room on top of there. But if I put up more stuff, it's just going to look very cramped in because it is a small room, you know. So let's just pretend that the walls don't exist above this line. We're just going to pretend. <laughs> Alrighty, we are on the second floor now. So let's, um, let's start with the parents' bedroom. I think that's a good idea. All right, so they have some blue walls. They have their separate beds that look like that and a carpet. Oh, and they have some pinkish purple curtains, right? They have a little fireplace. All right, that's how it's looking. Guess we can we get some nice beds for them? Oh, what about these? Is they have that kind of vibe that the beds in the picture had, you know? Can we get them in different beddings, though? I mean, we can, but I don't like that. So they're gonna be twinsies. Then we need a little nightstand. I can be that one, maybe. Oh, maybe you should have some wallpaper. I think that would be good. I mean, this one might do. It's a little darker than what's on the picture, but I'll think we'll survive with that one. <laughs> right. Okay, what about the bookshelf? What can that be? Oh, this one is cool. If we just size it down a little bit, that could be a vibe, as you know. And on that little night table, I'm just gonna put up some naked and nice for, um, you say this it. Oh, and I also have to put up those gosh darn curtains that I don't like, but breathe, Nora, breathe. And on the walls, I'm just, again, gonna put up some more pictures, some more stuff that they might have. Now, I know that they had a fireplace, but I cannot fit that in, so a radiator it is. All right, so now onto the kids' guest bedroom. There's a green bunk bed and the blue bassinet. They have that table with a little yellow chair. I see how it is. Okay, so for the bunk bed, we need a green one, and I think I want to one from Horse Ranch. Now it has some horse bedding, but, um, we got to pretend that we don't see that, okay? And then we need a blue bassinet. Oh, I kind of want this one, but they don't have that in blue. I see. Maybe, ah, I'll let that slide. It's kind of blue. We can pretend that it's blue. Didn't I have a bookshelf there? Did I delete it somehow? Well, I'm gonna put up a bookshelf anyways. Oh, this one. That is cute. Mm, you know what? I don't know. Let's, um, let's figure this out together as a family. The table in the middle. What can that be? I mean, I can put up this table. And then we need a chair. And they had a yellow chair. So we're gonna do the same. Boom. Shabam. And then for the carpet. What am I gonna do for the carpet? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, what if I just take this carpet on the bottom and then I just have this one on the top and it disappeared? That's not supposed to happen. Excuse me. Well, my plans are ruined now. What am I gonna do with that? Oh, I. I am gonna do this. No questions, please. I'm just gonna move on to the bookshelf. And you know what? I'm just gonna put up this bookshelf and then I'm gonna put some little nickety knacks in there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And there they are. My little nickety knacks. <laughs> and then they have a little windowsill right here with some stuff on that. So I think I'm gonna do the same. I am. Um, I'm gonna put a shelf up on there and then I'm just gonna put some nickety knacks on that little shelf. Just some flowers, a lamp, some books. And I also just put up this random painting because uh, why not? And a bucket. They seem to like the bucket. So put it, <laughs> put it in the bucket. Let's begin with this room. Which room was this again? That room. Okay, wonderful. And it says that it has a bedding with some green stuff on it, so um, there you go. And a little night table to go along with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I completely forgot about this thing. I need to decorate that too. And that's what I did. I, de I decorated it. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> All right. So now we have this room, which is a room that has never been seen. And this room is really freaking weird, I must say. So I, um, I was thinking that this could be a bathroom, because apparently the movies don't have a bathroom. But, all right, let's make them a bathroom. He said they deserve it. Let's put in some tiles first. That might be a good idea, you know? Oh, yeah. So that's um, not gonna work because uh, it's a round room. Okay, can I fix that with the quarter tiles? No, I can't. Okay, I guess the bathroom just has to be uh, wood. I'm not gonna fight the physics here anymore. I'm, I'm not. All right, I'm so sorry about the camera angles, by the way. But I have to be up here because as soon as I go like so, I will float down. So I have to be up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna do this bathroom really quick and simple. I'm gonna give them one of these tabs. They might enjoy that. And then a toilet. And then we can have a little sink. What sink can we have for them? Maybe this one. And then we have this corner. What can I put in there? I don't know. Maybe this one. That might work. Oh, wait, I can have this one too. That matches. Nice. And then we need a mirror. How can I forget a mirror? And then I'm gonna put in some little uh, nicky knacks. We do love some nicky knacks in there. And here is the little bathroom. Just a nice and simple bathroom. I mean, we got some towels. Everything you need in the bathroom. It's it's here. <laughs> it's it's here. Let's move on to the 
hallway. I don't want to see that anymore. Where did my freaking table go? Did I delete that as well? Who knows? So for the hallway table, I think I'm gonna go with this one. That's a nice uh, choice. And maybe we can have a carpet too. A nice old carpet. Oh, yeah, I can go with this one. I think that's doable. Yeah. Okay, let's put some Nikini Dax on that little hallway table. Why not? No, a little vase. That's actually a horse urn, but we're gonna look past that. And uh, now I am thinking of putting up a mirror. Maybe we can use the new mirror. Is that a little too fancy for them? Nah, they can get that mirror. Now, there is supposed to be a window here. But you know, I kind of blocked off that window <laughs> with that wall. So maybe, just maybe, I can put up a window here. Just to pretend that everything is okay, you know? I don't know. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah. All right, so up to the third floor we go. And uh, what do I want to start with? I mean, maybe the office. That's uh, probably a good idea. Okay, so the wallpaper for that office, it's blue, isn't it? So maybe we can go with this nice foreign flower blue. So I like that. And in his office, he has a lot of stuff. That's uh, just my observation. You know what? Maybe this one. That kind of fits the vibe, doesn't it? All right, so in this corner where the book shelf was, I'm going to put in something spectacular. I am going to put in this one just for the vibes. We can pretend that is a book uh, case. <laughs> and if we look at the picture again, we can see that there is a chair in the corner there. So I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to put this in. Yay. <laughs> Proud of me for that one. Okay, so on this little desk, I'm gonna put up some Nicky Nacks. I am. And it looks like he definitely has a globe and some books and a lamp. So I'm gonna do that for him. And I'm also just gonna put in some more stuff. And there we have it. Okay, so now for the fireplace. And they have some bricks going along on the wall. And uh, I can't really do that because of the placement of uh, the fireplace. So I think I have to make my own. And the way I'm gonna do that is uh, with these. I'm gonna just place them along like so. And I'm gonna create some mobs. And here is the fireplace place. I think that looks fine. Also put some little nicky knacks on top of there that we can see on the picture. He has a boat or a ship. It's called a ship. He loved them ships. And uh, <laughs> bada bing bada boom. All right. So on the picture, we can also see that there is a little table. Maybe I can make a table as well. I think I need to use a dining table and then just size it the frick frack down and plop some stuff on that. Will that work? I mean, yeah, that works. All right. Now I need to decorate this little thing. And I think I'm going to fill it up with um stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to fill it up with some uh, stuff from his quote-unquote adventures maybe i don't know maybe some urns maybe some fun stuff then yeah i just put up some books some little adventure stuff um you know he's been on the road <laughs> okay now we need something here i need i need something maybe this that could probably work i mean yeah if we just put some nicky knacks on that everything will be all right yeah there's some books some more little adventure stuff you know that turned out kind of cute i like that okay so now i'm just gonna put up the curtains and all the paintings and stuff on the wall and i think i'm done with this room then i do believe so and there is the little mummy in the room. No, <laughs> that is. And here is the little office, the mummy papa's office. I think it turned out so freaking cute, actually. Like, look at this. That is a vibe and a half. Oh, wow. Alrighty, so let's move on to the next room, which is this room, the guest room, one of the many thousands. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a new bed. It looks like it has yellow bedding, so I'm gonna do that. And then the carpet, I mean, oof. I need a dark blue carpet. What about just this one? Oh, I think that's the one. And then over here, I can put in this dress for them. And then I'm just going to change out these uh, thingy thangies as well. For something better. All right, so I went to this uh, thingy thangy and that one. Because it had a mirror. Whatever it was. I don't remember the word for it. But it had a mirror. So there you go. And now for all the other stuff. I mean, I can put up this mirror in the corner maybe. And then we can have a lamp in the corner. That never hurt anybody. Nobody. And also just a plan for the ambiance. And then you know the drill. I'm going to put some nicky knacks on there. On everywhere. Everybody go. I'm putting up the nickety knacks in this room. Alrighty, Tati. So here is the room. The guest room. <laughs> One of the guest rooms. I mean, I put up a little carpet. A little stuff. I mean, it's kind of cute now. I like it. Very nice. Uh, let's move on to the next bedroom. <laughs> so many guest bedrooms in this house. It's so many. Now, there's not much information about this room, but uh, we can pretend that we know everything. So I'm going to use my imagination. and I'm going to put up this wallpaper first. And I'm going to put in a new bed for her. Oh, we need a nightstand. A nightstand is always a good time. And then just a funky carpet. And I'm gonna put up some more nickety knacks. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? And then I think above the bed, I'm gonna put up a shelf. A cute old shelf for her. And that's what I did. Much. And you know what? I think I could put in this chair. It's cute and it fits the vibe. Yeah. And then just to finish it all off, some more paintings on the walls. And here is the little bedroom. I actually did some nice curtains for her because the wall worked this time, apparently. Not gonna do that for the other rooms though because that was a hassle and a half. And we're gonna move on to the hallway. And where did my stuff go? I had stuff here, right? 
Yeah, so I think in this corner, I was gonna have a chair on the table to have a little nook, a little sitting nook. I mean, I can put in this chair, then a little table right there, and I can put in a little lamp for the ambiance, and maybe a carpet as well. That would be nice. I mean, isn't that cute? Just a little reading nook. Wow. Oh, and then we need some stuff in here, and I think I was gonna have a little table there. Love me the decorations in this hallway. I made something spectacular here today. <laughs> All right, so here is the hallway. Got some nice decorations, some pictures. You know, it's just the hallway. <laughs> what more can I say about that? All right. Right, so let's move up to the attic and here is the attic the sad sad attic so <laughs> let's start with the bed first i think i'm gonna go with this one actually because i i like that and then we need a carpet of some sort you know what maybe i can make something fancy i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm probably gonna do something fancy you know what i made something with those carpets and uh, do i like it i don't know but I, I i made it and i'm gonna keep it right let's put a table in there <laughs> and you know what i'm gonna put in that table i i think i am and then i am also just gonna put up some more decorations around that <laughs> you see it would be a very boring room if i didn't do that you know yeah i know and here the decorations are wow put up a bunch of nicky necks you know the books the movie Tarola probably likes to read ah, who knows right we also need something in this corner because it will be very bare and empty if i didn't do that so what can i do for him i can put up a little sucker sack a bean bag yeah they probably didn't have that in the moments but um i like the vibe of that and i can also give him a little poof you know just a nice yellow poof moment and in the corner here we can have a little dress ah maybe i mean yeah i can do that if i can squeeze this in somewhere that might work right now for the desk i can put in this nice wooden desk with a nice chair i like that vibe and then i'm just gonna make it all um cozy with some books and stuff vamp it up as they kids say these days no they don't say that nora what wait what and here is the little desk area it turned out so freaking cute Ooh, look at all the little cute nicky knacks he has oh and i was supposed to put something here but then i remembered that this is his window that he climbs in and out of. So I can't really put anything there. And I also put stuff on the walls. But I need to keep the walls down because of the roof. There's probably a trick for that. But I, I don't know that trick. So here are my paintings. <laughs> that I put up on the walls. Some more paintings. And some more paintings. Wow. And there's his window. Beautiful. Alright. So the inside is now complete. For now at least. Maybe I will do some more decorations. If I feel like it. If I have the brain power to do it. But I think it's now time to do some landscaping. Wowie wah wah. So as you can see, the house is on a little hill. It has this little wiggly wiggly pathway that leads up to a little river. And there's like a lot of rocks and stuff. It also has a little tree right there. I see how it is. So before we begin, I thought I would do some sketching in Illustrator for you guys. So I just know that we're all on the same page, okay? So there's the house. And uh, we've already made that little hill. Beautiful. And then there was a little wiggly wiggly pathway that goes something like so. And then there was a little river down here. And what more was it? Oh, it was a bridge is right there there's the bridge isn't it lovely and then there was a tree oh yikes Nora make a tree beautiful oh, was that it I mean there was like some little rocks everywhere and flowers like so so yeah that's my sketch of what I'm gonna do I love it I mean maybe we can begin with the easy part first which is to put up a tree <laughs> maybe this one and then I'm just gonna spice it up a little bit with some rocks around it and maybe some flowers too you know just to have a good time and that's what you did well all right let's um oh, let's begin with this river oh no I'm not gonna begin with the river I'm gonna make the little pathway the wiggle wiggle a pathway what am i gonna use for that just this what about this one or this maybe i can combine them all together who knows who knows where i'm going in life okay so there's the start of it eh, do i like it i don't know let's start with the freaking river now okay i i need to i need to start this oh this is looking awful okay ah, okay hold on let me do this let me do this correctly okay i made something here i made a pit <laughs> And now I'm gonna fill that pit with some water. Fill that up. Well, that's a start at least. Maybe I can do some pathing in there too. Some pathwaying with some sand and stuff. Maybe that will be fun for us. Okay, I put in the sand. It looks awful. I mean, it, it did not help at all. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna put in the bridge now. Okay, so in the picture, it's a round bridge. A curved bridge, you could say. Or you should say that. So do we have that in debug? I mean, oh, okay, we have this, which is not really what I'm looking for. Oh, 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 oh this is perfect. Oh, this bridge is not usable. You can't use it. It's just decoration. So i don't think i can do that you know that would be very sad for the one person who downloads this house so maybe yeah i have to make it myself with the platform it's oh no the water is everywhere how do i get it up oh but jeepers me i gotta figure this out oh yeah there we go <laughs> I literally just put flooring on the ground. That That's it. Because it did not want to work with the platforms. But th there's me bridge. We're going to pretend that the bridge is round, okay? It's not flat. It's a curve. We got to believe to survive this day. Oh, you know what? Scratch that. Here is my platform. I got it on there. In the end, I did. So, problem fixed. Now I'm going to put up the freaking fences on that. Jabang. And here are me fences. Wow. Beautiful curved bridge. 
beautiful and uh <laughs> now i gotta decorate this little river i am um, i do so i think i'm gonna start off with putting up these rocks just along the river now i'm gonna do that all over i mean isn't it nice to see laura just putting up rocks isn't it lovely isn't it nice is it everything you ever wanted probably not because who would want that did that make any sense i don't know okay okay doki here are my rocks it was not fun to do but yeah i put some <laughs> rocks in different sizes along the little river and then a big old rock there because i saw that on the picture yeah i'm gonna put up some plants along this little uh, river bend maybe everything will be all right if i do that maybe and yeah i'm just gonna begin with her planting this area up very nicely i mean look at nora go look at nora wrecking go and yeah here is the plants that i put up in the little river wow and now i do believe i'm going to put up some plants around this house to frame it in with just some normal bushes and stuff you know nothing more exciting about that i'm just gonna plant in some bushes more bushes and some more bushes everywhere just for the ambiance and wow i put up some little bushes and plants and flowers just all around the house very nice and then for the next part i'm thinking of putting up some rocks and stuff just along the pathway like so and then some more little flowers here and there for the ambiance in. okay so here is the little rocky moments with some um, flowers and stuff they're kind of cute but it's still looking very very bare let me get the reference photo up again nora said to herself <laughs> as you can see there's just a bunch of rocks and little flowers everywhere you know and some trees in the background so I i'm gonna do the same and see what happens all right so here is where i'm at with the landscaping i uh, i'm not really happy with it it looks very messy it does hmm. interesting i have to think about that and i gotta think now so i'm just gonna decorate a little bit more here and there but i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna do something i am all right i am back i had to do most of it off camera because i was just so confused on what i was going to do because nothing nothing seemed to work and it's really late now it's 10 p.m you know but uh yeah here's what i did here's what i did with the river the little shebang boom and then i fixed up the garden a little bit you know i put in some stuff that isn't on the pictures you know but um i had to make some magic just to make it work so yeah that, that was the decoration of that and i think it's time for a house tour i do think so here is the beloved house tour wow 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 there's the house <laughs> beautiful okay so let's start in front of here the little river i mean the river is kind of cute i think i could have done so much more with it but i just my mind is blanking right now. The little river with the herbed bridge. Mm -hmm. And then right here is a little wiggly boogala pathway. Nice, nice, nice. Very boogala boogala. And here is the magnificent <laughs> house. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at all them plants that I had to put in. And here is one of the veranda balconies. <laughs> and uh, here is the back side of the house. I did manage to kind of finish off that little shed. Kind of, kind of did. And uh, <laughs> here is the rest of the plants back here. And uh, oh, oh, magical. And if we turn around here, we shall see a little... What was this again? This was the entrance to the cellar that does not exist because it bugs out everything. Wonderful, wonderful. And here we are at the front of the house again. Wow. So let's a step inside. Huh? Oh, wow. So here's the living room in all its glory. It doesn't get better than this, people. <laughs> oh no, one of the plants is sticking through the wall. I'll fix that, I promise. But here's the living room. Noise, noise, noise. All right, let's go into the dining room. And uh, w w wow, that is a dining room. I don't know what more to say than that. It is a dining room. But a little fireplace. All right, let's go into the kitchen. And here's the kitchen. I am so tired. I don't even know what to say. Here's the kitchen. And there's also the other side of the kitchen. And the... <laughs> don't even look at the curtains. Don't, don't look at them. Look somewhere else. But oh, wow, let's walk upstairs. It's gonna be Fan. and up here there's the hallway looking beautiful as ever you know let's go in this room oh it's the kids bedroom i think i do hope oh this is gonna be amazing you know okay let's go into another room oh this is the parents bedroom oh i do kind of like that nice then i mean i do kind of like it i don't like the wall height at all it's making me insane because the proportion is all off you know let's go into another room oh this is the bathroom uh i <laughs> i mean the bathroom is something else isn't it i don't even want to be in here let's go somewhere else have i been in this room no i have not uh this is the room i'm i'm ending up in the wall but this is the room oh la 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 and now we're walking upstairs and here is all the hallway and my camera is glitching out that's beautiful well here's the other side of the hallway oh my gosh it's glitching out so much okay let's try to get into this room oh this is the office i ah i hope you can see it because my camera is glitching out so much oh my gosh well here's one side of the office i'm zooming out for you guys oh what happened to the roof oh uh, 
Ah, bah. Fish Islands. <laughs> Everywhere I go. Fish lands. I'm just gonna be here. I, the camera doesn't like me anymore. I am barely pressing the buttons. What what have I done? Well, there's the office. I do really like the office. Like, look at all the cute little nicky eggs. If I... Oh, I swear to you. Oh, work with me. Let's move out. Into this room. Oh, I like this room. This one's cute. Look, that is so cute. I'm trying not to lose my mind over this camera. I am... I'm trying. Fish mode. Moving on. Into this room. Oh. Oh my gosh, the camera I cannot. <laughs> We're just gonna be here for a while. <laughs> but here's the bed. There, uh, there is something. It's the other side of the room. Uh, was that all the rooms? Oh, the, the loft. Okay. Or the attic, I should say. <gasps> oh, it's so cute in here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I want to live here myself. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. <gasps> that is a good screenshot as well. Uh, um, oh, work with me. Work with me. Work with me. I'm sorry if you're feeling motion sick right now, but let me tell you, I am too. So, yeah, there's the other side of the room. <laughs> Fish eye. But oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. I know. I'm trying to get a wider angle, but I, then I'm going out of the room and I, oh, I am barely moving the buttons. I, <laughs> I am barely moving anything. Okay, I'm going out. House tour is done. All right, so that was it for this time. I hope you really enjoyed the house. I really enjoyed the house. I, I did. I did. <laughs> and if you for some reason want to download this house, I have it up on my gallery and my gallery ID is just on my gaming. So there it is. <laughs> and um, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.